Solar energy is the most abundant renewable resource on Earth and is expected to contribute strongly to the future global energy mix. Due to massive cost reductions, electricity from photovoltaics, or PV, already represents one of the lowest cost options under favourable solar conditions. This has led to enormous market growth of PV systems in the last decade. A global capacity of around 300 gigawatts was reached by the end of 2016, and this has led to annual growth rates in excess of 30%. Concentrating solar power, or CSP, is a lesser than alternative whose major commercial implementation started in 2007, significantly later than PV. After initial small cell successes in the early niche markets in California between 1985 and 1991, CSP installations reached a global capacity of just around 5 gigawatts by the end of 2016, but very little information is available on the evolution of costs in comparison to the PV market. This is due to the fact that PV systems consist of only two major components, the PV module and the inverter. Both are offered today as a commodity type product in a very competitive and transparent market. Compare this to CSP, which is a more complex system. The most common technology, based on parabolic troughs, consists of a field of concentrating solar collectors, a heat transfer fluid circuit that may also include energy storage, and a power block that converts the high temperature solar energy into electricity. Only a few turnkey suppliers exist worldwide with the capabilities to bundle the overall financial risk of the project and source the components and subsystems through individual requests to their own suppliers, especially for a typical unit size of 100 megawatts. The know-how on the cost structure thus represents a competitive benefit for them and is generally not publicly shared. Thus, only information on the overall energy investment or the revenues per kilowatt hour is available for most installations. As each project may face very different boundary conditions in the global market with respect to solar resources, financing and labour costs, it is difficult to draw a general conclusion on the cost development of CSP. However, recently writing in Nature Energy, Johan Lillström and colleagues at ETH Zurich in Switzerland have compiled a database of all commercial CSP projects and use this data set to identify different phases of market introduction with respect to country-specific markets and different CSP technologies, parabolic and tower systems. They demonstrate clear evidence of a cost reduction of parabolic trough CSP systems over the past five years at a learning rate exceeding 25%. This number is higher than expected and in the same range as long-term average figures for PV modules, which are just around 21% over the last 35 years. While the PV module learning rate is maintained and linked to the optimization and scaled manufacturing processes with innovations in semiconductor design of the cell, CSP systems consist to a large extent of components coming from conventional power plant technology that have been adapted to CSP applications. Their analysis also identified phases of cost increases and this can be linked to distinct policy regimes and periods of industrial development. Based on this, the researchers concluded that continuity in both policy support and project developer and commercial manufacturing industries are important to keep the learning rate high. Indeed, policy support mechanisms with stronger competitive elements were found to lead to the highest cost reductions over time. Despite these gains for CSP, given the low cost level achieved by PV, there remains a question of why CSP technology may be needed at all. The answer cannot be given in metrics such as price per kilowatt hour at this stage, but needs a consideration of the overall energy system. As PV is currently only providing electricity during sunlight hours, other flexible options are needed in the grid to match production with demand. Proponents of CSP argue that with its integrated thermal storage, it's one very attractive option compared to large-scale electricity storage systems. The Nature Energy Report authors also highlight that a number of reports on solar-blessed countries for 2025 onwards show that high penetration of complementary PV and CSP systems, in particular in scenarios where CO2 emissions are limited or fuel prices are high, are economically more attractive than the integration of electricity storage or fossil fuel backup systems. Such conclusions 
are based on the assumption of significantly further reductions in costs for CSP, something that can now be considered more likely in the future in light of the findings from Lillström and his colleagues. Over the coming decades, it's clear that we will have a number of complementary options to decarbonise electricity generation and to collect and store the abundant energy of the sun.